Hey guys, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a CHAMS hack and what CHAMS art stands for chameleon. Um, it's pretty much just, um, if you've ever seen those like paid clients where someone goes behind a block, their player changes color or whatever, this is pretty much what we have is. So you want to go into your main class. I don't know why, but I have it in here. So, you want to make a new public static boolean, call it whatever, I just called mine chams. You want to go to render player, and inside of render player, all you're going to see is super, like right here, on top of model armor chest plate. All you're going to see is super dot do render living. You want to delete that and then type this code out. I'm not going to give this in the description because it's pretty simple. GL11 dot GL disable. GL11 dot GL underscore lighting. And then GL11 dot GL disable. GL11 dot GL depth test. And then what this part here is doing is it's setting the color. So it goes R, G, B, and then alpha, which is like the transparency. I have mine set to 1.0 because I don't want it to have any transparency. Then you want to disable uh, 2D textures. And then you want to type super dot do render living par 1 entity player par 2 D par 6 par 8 and then par 9. Then you want to enable um, gl11 dot gl depth test then you want to set the color to green or red sorry this was green that's red and then you want to make it render the player again with a red overlay then you want to do an else statement then do super dot render living so just copy that pretty much and then you want to make your toggle um, I just did mine in a clickable GUI. So if you just run this, um, I should probably make it so it automatically logs on my account because it's getting kind of obnoxious. Or I could just make it. Yeah, I'll do that. Let's hope there's someone at spawn. Turn on tracers. Yes, there is. So if I just turn on chams, so they have kind of like a. Oh, they have kind of like a green thing around them if you saw that. You could make it better if you um, know that much uh, OpenGL, but I got lazy and didn't want to do anything else because I don't really use it. Oh yeah, I still need to fix that. Alright, um, so that's the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll do a clickable GUI, I guess. Yeah, uh, so see you then, guys. Uh, bye.